Hello dear student, this is Ms. Namita Mukhya from Nepali Girls Higher Secondary School. Now today we will continue with the graphical representation of data. In our last class we have done frequency polygon. Now histogram today we will be starting with, now it is a continuous bar graph or we can say it is a column diagram. Now there are certain similarities between the frequency polygon and the histogram. We can say that uh, frequency uh, histogram is drawn in the same manner just like the uh, frequency polygon with some of the basic differences. Especially in the uh, frequency polygon what we have done is uh, we have taken the especially the scores or the frequencies within a class interval is represented by the midpoint whereas in histogram it is assumed that the score are uniformly uh, spread over uh, the class interval. So, here instead of taking the midpoint what we do is we will first take out the lower limit of the class interval. So, over here we have uh, the classes or the scores, we have frequencies and the third column which we need is of to find out the actual lower limit. So, I will write LL, this will be my actual lower limit. Now, as you know, this is my lower limit and this is my upper limit. Upper limit. Now, to find the actual lower limit over here, we have already done with this point or with this score, we need to subtract minus point. 5. So, what we get over here, if you subtract from 10 minus 0.5, you will get 9.5. So, this is my actual lower limit of the first class. So, 9.5. Just like that, in 15 also, we will get 14.5. Likewise, we will get 19.5. 24.5 and over here 29.5 is my next lower limit of the class. Next is 34.5. After that we have 39.5, 44.5, 49.5 50. 4.5. If you do like this, if you subtract point frame of point 0.5 sorry, from all this lower limit, you will get this actual lower limit. Now, we have done in the frequency polygon, we firstly we have got the midpoints, then we have plotted that in the x axis. So, you need the graph paper. In the graph paper, you need to draw two line, one is vertical and the other one is the horizontal line. The horizontal line is the base, this is called the x axis and y is the vertical line, this is specially for the frequencies. That means, all the frequencies are plotted in the y axis. Now, here is one difference. It is that in the frequency polygon, especially polygon, you have taken two additional score that is at the first or at the end of the score. Over here in the histogram, that means two additional score. Whereas, in histogram, you have to take plus only one additional score that is also at the base, at the last of the score. That means over here what I do, I will take one additional score. That is, my next score will be 60 to 64. As we don't have any frequencies, but I will take out the lower limit of that class. My next will be lower limit will be 14, uh, sorry, 59.5. So, all together we have 11 scores. That means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. That means 10 plus 1 equals to we have 11 scores. 
Now what we do, we'll plot all this, all the lower limit at the base in the x-axis. We'll start from the first one that is 9.5. Likewise, 14.5. 19.5, uh, 24 24.5, 29.5, 34.5, 39.5, 44.5, like you can see over there, 49.5, 54.5, 54.5, 54.5 and uh, my last one is 59.5 so now what you have to do just like in the frequency polygon you have taken 5 small square equals to 1 unit that means in a graph paper as you can see there are 5 small small square so this Spatially, all this will form one unit. Okay, in the similar way over here also, you will take five small square equals to one unit. Like I'll draw like this: three, four, and five. Five small square equals to one unit. So just write down at the base lower limit equals to five small squares equals to your one unit of the class interval that is from here to here 0 to 9.5 is your one unit now in the y axis we need to draw the frequencies now for the frequencies what you do now write down frequency and here now as we have taken five small square in the base now we can take easy there is no any hard and fast rule like frequency polygon that you have to follow three fourth of y axis in the x axis in the similar way what you do over here is you take four small square equals to one unit that means the difference between the frequency polygon and the histogram is that in the frequency polygon when you form the y axis you have followed the formula that is y axis should always be 3 fourth of x axis but in the histogram there is no any hard and fast rule for your eginess what you can do is if you are taking five small square at the base especially for the lower limit you can take four small square that is four small square equals to one unit in the y axis okay so y axis you have taken one sm uh, four small square equals to one unit so it means that this will represent your frequency one likewise your highest frequency is 12 so you go on writing one this is your two three next is four next five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve so all it has it, it has to be equal four 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 small square you have to take so i have already taken four small square for frequency and five small square for the lower limit now what we do is now we will plot the frequency especially we need to go through this that means 9.5 has the frequency of 2 so what we need to find out is the 2 that intersection point of 0 of 9.5 to 2 that will be your place where you can point uh, you, you can point out this thing okay now next we have 14.5 we have frequency of 8 so you need to go on finding where your frequency is so 8 
In a similar manner, likewise, the next we have got frequency 12 that is of class interval of 24.5. So, 24.5 we have already plotted this 12 score. Next, 29.5 we have 7. So, over here we have 7. Likewise, we have 6 frequency that is of 34.5 of 39.5 we have got the frequency of 4 like 44.5 we have got the frequency of 3 and 41 49.5 we have got the frequency of 1 and 54.5 we have got the frequency of 1 so already we have plotted all these points now what the next what we need to do is we need to specially join all those lines. So, what we do we will be joining all these lines in this likewise 14.5 we have 8. So, we will join this line since this line is forming a bar graph. Next we have 19.5 with the frequency related to that score. Next 24.5 we have got the frequency of 12. 29.5 you draw a straight line connecting your point especially with the class interval. Okay. Now, after drawing all the straight line or after joining your straight line with your frequencies, what you do is you extend that particular point to the other point. That means if suppose like for example over here, I have already done this thing. That means this particular phase 9.5 has the frequency of 2. But over here this line is spreading to touch this 49.5. I hope you remember. Uh, the extension of uh, the scores that means what will be the lower limit and what will be the upper limit. So, within that particular area a scores occupies the area which means that it has got lower limit also and the upper limit. In the same manner 9.5 is extending from over here. You should not touch this line with this. Okay? So, 9.5 is extending it is going it is touching the main point and it is going that side where it is touching 14.5 and it is forming a continuous diagram okay or otherwise it will become like this rectangle you know but since I have already done this histogram is a continuous diagram continuous bar graph or the column graph so in the same manner it has to extend it has to extend on so that it can meet the frequencies or the other of other class interval till the last one that is 59.5 where we have taken one additional score 59.5 additional score go there is no any frequencies which means that it is zero so in a similar manner this 59.5 is ending that means 54.5 is ending at zero so it means that it doesn't have any frequencies so this is how you draw histogram